All right. This is a video I had a request for, so here it is. This is all about item barrels and mass storages. Now, depending on what mod you have installed, will depend on what materials you can make mass storages out of. But there is a whole arrangement that you can make without other mods as well. Like here, we are using um, germanium and cobalt for some of our mass storages. But I will show you in just a bit all the other different flavors that you can have. But first, let's get into the basic item barrels. So you have this, which is a cheap item barrel. It can hold 5,000. Then you have this one, which is a different version of a regular item barrel. This is the ironwood version, which will not catch on fire. So if you have IC2, where you can breed crops from GT, you can actually get um, ironwood, the stuff to make ironwood from that. Or if you have the Twilight Forest, you can go in there and get the stuff to make it from there. But this is the exact same as the normal wooden item barrel, which holds um, uh, 10,000. Item barrel, wooden iron barrel, cheap. Yeah, there it is. 10,000. And then you have the mass storage. And the mass storage can hold like a million. Whole bunches of stuff. Again, this is a germanium one. It's We didn't have uh, the ability to use germanium for uh, circuits. So when we were playing on this world. So we have a whole lot of our storage stuff is made out of germanium. And basically, these are like any other item barrel from about any other mod out there. You then it'll store it up to the amount other than most of them store them in stacks. This does not do that. This stacks in items. So like even if you're doing eggs or ender pearls, it does not give a shit about the stack size. It only accounts for the amount of said items. So you can do 5,000 ender pearls just like you could do 5,000 cobblestone, 10,000, or 100,000. Now, there are a lot of different modes that you can use. The first one I'm going to show you is you can use a soft hammer, and that will reset it. Take that, put it in there, hit it, it just put it into my inventory and cleared the barrel. So if you ever need to clear a barrel of what it's holding, that's how you do it. Um, you can pull things out in the amount on the front here. So eight, eight, eight. you don't have to sit here and keep clicking or take an entire stack. You can do that for 148, 16, 32, and 64, just depending on where you hit the button on the thing. And that's the same for all of them, as you can see. Now, next, we have wire cutters. If you click on that, it says, will emit overflow to inventories below. Now, what that does is say you want to keep exactly 5,000 cobblestone in your base at one time. But you have cobblestone coming in from miners, from a cobblestone generator, whatever. And you don't want it to back up your pipes. Well, what you can do is hook a pipe under this. And hit it with the cutters like I just did there. And then when it gets too high, uh, let me see if I can find a pipe here to show you how to set it up. I 
can rob one real quick, but I should have. Borrow this one for a minute. So all you would do, put your pipe down, grab your barrel, stick it on top, wrench, connect it like that, and now it will take the overflow, anything over the 5,000, automatically drop it out the pipe. And then you can put a trash can connected to that, or a recycler if you have IC2, or if it's something other than cobblestone, if it's an actual element, you can send the excess off to a matter fabricator to make matter for replication. So, like, we have over here, um, like, 6,000 germanium. If we had an item barrel here, instead of a mass storage, we could send the 1,981 off to become matter, and it would hold 5,000 in the item barrel for us. Now, if you want to use this for automation... To where, say, you need um, iron dust for something. There is another setting for that. Won't emit overflow. And that is a monkey wrench. Hit it with the monkey wrench, and now it will fill an inventory below. So now, if you take this pipe, and you run it to wherever you need the iron dust, it will keep... Filling that pipe, no conveyor needed, nothing like that. It'll just automatically go down. Let's see if I take him here, stick it in there. You'll see there is nothing in there. I break over, connect it. Now it'll go there. So it will always take. And fill the pipe underneath and send it where you need it so great way for basic automation so if you're going to do that you won't want to do what we did here which is our um, periodic table you'll want to set it up with a uh, empty spot underneath each one so you can automate them out it's really nice for you know cooking up the ingots we use this for our um, processing automation. I'll show it to you in a minute. So next we have a screwdriver, which resets the filter on it. Stays when empty, or you can reset when empty. Basically, that is for Put those up oh, let's uh stop it from doing the thing here we'll still pipe off here so put that in there we take it out it's not going to remember what was in there but if we hit it with the screwdriver again it's back to default and it'll remember what was in there I've never actually had to use this, but I'm sure there are some reasons why you might want to use that. You could use it for stacking if you had multiple things coming in a pipe and you wanted to filter them after, but you wanted to let them stack up a little bit, you could use them for that. So it could stack a few and then send those stacks out through the pipe. That would be one use I could see for doing it, using it. Alright, so we've covered the cutters, the screwdriver, the monkey wrench, the soft hammer. Alright, so we are down to my favorite part is the duct tape. And there are multiple different kinds of duct tape. This is the plastic tape. So we have regular tape, which is just paper and glue. 
Then you have the plastic tape, which is the one I'm using currently. And then we have the Brain Tech Aerospace Advanced Reinforced Duct Tape FAL84. This is tungsten foil. Very expensive stuff. But this does is you see there's that item barrel up there that's completely full of gravel or stone dust we can do that break it I can monkey my butt up there grab it then you will see block of stone dust 5000 so it is holding its content so, there, use a pair of scissors, which is part of my multi-tool. You can use regular scissors as well. And then it takes the tape off, so you can move barrels around. You can do it with mass storages. The difference is each tape has an amount that it can do. So if you're doing a regular item barrel or a cheap item barrel, regular tape is fine if you're doing a mass storage then you're going to need either duct tape up to a hundred thousand or the tungsten brain tech duct tape if it's full now the remaining uses is how many items are in the barrel so you're if you notice this one here only has 9,000 or 95,000 uses on it even though it was brand new when I made it so it used 5,000 just to move that barrel because there was 5,000 things in it see now we're at 95 I click it we're now at 90 it uses 5,000 every time I click on that barrel Due to the fact that that's how much stuff is in it. So that is item barrels, mass storages. Now there are other storages which are logistics mass storages. Those go along with this logistic core that I'm standing on right here. And that'll be a part of a different video. Basically they are the same as a mass storage. Just that they connect to the logistics but you can see we have plastic storage boxes, we have um, lead, bismuth, antimony, nickel, bronze, all the way up to titanium alloy, adamantium, osmium, iridium, even titanium. Now, they all hold the same amount, no matter what the material is they're made of. They hold the same amount minus the wooden and the cheap wooden. Now, one thing I want to explain now is our setups here and how we use them. So, first off, our periodic table. We also have this little branch over here and this little branch over here. This is all of our radioactive stuff our basic periodic table and this over here is for our roasting stuff so all we did was make a wall like in a periodic table setup connected with pipes in the beginning brass pipes were fine as we got more um, production we needed more um, better pipes so we went to ultimate ultimates are awesome pipes and so it does butt tons here of moving things around we don't have to worry about things getting filled so we just have every one of them open to the back of the barrel and filling it up now the reason why we have this up here is it's connected to the same line but then it is all of these are set to automatically fill the from the bottom which you can use a 
magnifying glass and that will tell you that what it contains it'll fill the inventory below the filter stays and it won't emit overflow and then this pipe runs all the way across the factory and over to our roaster so whenever we get these materials in they'll automatically get sent over to the roaster processed and then come back over and go where they need to in the periodic table. Now, also have that same pipe connected up over to this room. This room has all of our gems, which we have gotten almost every gem in the game, minus an exquisite amethyst and an exquisite purple sapphire. Everything else we've managed to get through the, like, two years we've been playing here. And then on this side is all of our materials that need to be broken down, either in a electrolyzer, in a centrifuge, whatever. And it's all hooked to the same pipe, so that same pipe that goes to our periodic table is just running across here connecting up there this is all of our stone dust that come out of the crusher and then it runs under the floor comes in right here and runs to all of these and that is how we set up our automation from all of our different ore processing that we do over yonder we use, uh, I'll show you over here, we have filters. Filter everything. I'm not going to go through all the ore processing today, but basically we have filters that say tiny's here, regular there, and everything down there ends up getting put into that one ultimate pipe, and it runs the length of our base over to our storage room so i hope that gives you guys some ideas on what you can use item barrels for and explains all the different ways you can use them to make your greg tech 6 experience as great as it can be have a good one if you have any questions as always leave a comment below stop by our discord Link is in the description, or stop by and ask Greg in his IRC channel. Have a good one.